Hi, in this video we are going to through a few Linux commands. So some of them are really basics, but some of them are you can use it in daily works if you're working with Linux. So we just start with all of them. So the first one is ls. It shows you the content of a directory or where you are currently. It will show you what is inside. So basically, list me the files or the stuff that's in the current directory. We used another one, pwd. It shows you the path where you are now. And cd we use uh, to change the directory from directory where you currently or a, where you want to go. So you can also use the um, absolute path or you can also use relative paths to change the directory. And we can say like plus a to say I want to go there. So it will give me direction. So now I'm if you type pwd now I'm in another directory. We choose me this locations. We can go back to our own directory which we were before there. In this 40 commands directory, we can also just type back. Okay, next time we're going to use uh, relative paths. We can use tilde and backslash, which is on the home directory 40, and then cd. So now I'm back on the directory where I was, where I was earlier. The next command is uh, to create a new file. You can just use touch my file ls, and now you have a new file. My file. If you want to remove the file, you can just use rm my file and back ls to see it. So the file is deleted. You can also delete this file also. You just type rm new. You can also new file and can also give another file. You have just space and then you give another file l and then we have all of them. So we delete all of the files like that too. Uh, the another command is we can use also nano. It's an editor actually. So we have a file like touch file. And then if you want to edit this file, so you can just use nano. And the name of the file, and you can just type something, this thing. And to get out of this uh, editor, you have to press Control O, and then can enter and Control X. So the file is edited. Now, if you want to see what's inside the file, you can just type cat, which is another command to see the content of the file. And it will just give us back everything on the terminal. So this is the content of the file we just saved. We have another uh, command uh, to create new directory, mkdir, mk make directory, and the name of the directory we say dir. If you type ls, so we have a new directory here. And if you want to make a copy of a file, it's easy. Also, you just type cp, name of the file. OK, the name of the new file. You just type new file or anything you want to name. A copy file. So if you type back ls, now you have a copy file of this original file. And we have, OK, to back delete. I just showed you that you can use rm copy file. But you can also use there's another command to delete a directory, rm, dir, and name of the directory. So we also delete the directory. We have another command. Uh, so let's see, we have a lot of stuff on the screen. We can just uh, delete all of them back and clear the terminal. We can just use type clear. And to see who is logged in now in the system, you can just type who am I. And I would show you the online people who's just now logged in in the systems. You can type another command, which you can see the history of the logged in. And you can type just last, and it will show you all the people who logged in here in the systems. We type back clear to make it clear. And there's another command we can use, like sudo. Sudo, which will be used if you want to do something like as a root, which you just use it like for configuration and administration administration stuffs, but not like a simple users. So you can use this command and do something uh, which is change the configuration of the systems. So another command is like to add a user. But for that, you need a sudo privilege. So we just type sudo add a user add or user add. And then, but so I didn't give a name to this. So this give me okay, these options. So, but I can type user add test, 
so now we have a new user test to see if there is this user really created you can just type git int which is another command to get the entry of a file and we gave password is a file which contains the users and we can see that there is the new user test this is another test user which is earlier i created so but this is the user we just created now and then we have uh, so we just created a user, but if you want to delete the user back, you can just type a sudo user del and the name of the user test. So we just back deleted the user. The another command is if you have a file which is really long, like log files, you want to see each of the lines on page by page. You can use uh, head and and tail and less. These three and more. These commands that you can use so the first one we use like a list then we give a part for our file we say logs and then says this is a long file so it gives us the full page of the terminal but we can pressing the space bar we can go through each line of the these uh, logs so the next one is more it's similar with that which also gave us the content based on the page I mean based on the pages like how big is your page I mean the terminal size it will give you that much information and we have another one which uh, is a really important one apt this is an aptitude which is used to for the package management of the system if you just press enter we give you a short description about that and also the options that you can use with this one so this is another topic to manage the packages in the system uh, but you just can use this one for many more stuffs on the package download package update it remove it and other stuffs so we have <coughs> if you want to know really short about the command you can just type what is apt and it gives you one line explanation of a command or something you can type this what is for any commands like ls you will give also less directory stuff. So it's just a short information about a command. The another one is uh, where is. It shows you the binary location of a file, like where is ls. So this is the binary options, which is exe executable file. And it gives you the location of that command if you are searching for a specific command. The another one is a uh, curl, which is a really good one. You can just give an address of a server or something you have to give the whole server address like bbc slash we dot google or anything you will get that so basically it's a browser but in a, a command line interface you can just type uh, clear to make the screen a bit clean and we have uh, another command find which is used to find a file and we're going to go for use find and, and then we give name of name of our file so we can use also regular expression we say anything that before but at the end is lock and where are you going to search for that in slash war slash logs and then you press enter so it didn't find anything there but we can just give give one directory more or say oh there's also nothing with this name uh, so you can just give also the path root which is anything in the root and find as a file if there is log at the end of that uh, but you can also use the find command with the regular expressions so like say this find log in slash one slash log and then you press enter so any file which contains log on the name that will be just listed here there is another command uh, which we can see the configuration of our interface if I config and then it gives you all the configuration of the interface install so I have also docker here so there are also virtual interfaces but you may have it a h0 or something like that but not so many it depends how many interface you have and we have a uh, ping one you can use to ping any server or something www.google.com you will get an 
the plan back from them so it will just continue if you want to stop something like which is just running you can just use control C and we have uh, another command which is really helpful if you're looking for your IP stuffs and just type IP S and then A oh sorry IP A show it means show me the IP address and it gives you the IP address of the interfaces here you're looking for that and we have another one which is grip which is a really good one it also search inside of a file if you're looking for a text or something it also goes inside us in a file and then search that file for you also okay so for that let's create a file touch text and uh, no no we're gonna put something in this file I say find me okay just it's okay control o and control x and then we see grip and we see me and in the current directory oh sorry we just give the directory but we also give up the we have to give the name of the file and that is text and it's gonna give you that piece of text with a red color or maybe different color depends on which um, terminal you're using so just only searching for a piece of text there's a work, another good command that you can use it uh, net stat it gives you the status of the connections uh, if you have a like nginx server or other servers php server or something else is running on your computer then you can check for the connections all here but that's a real long list then you can filter it net stat and you can just give like they are uh, the commands that you can mix it uh, options with this command and they will get a shorter list we use also sudo then we get a smaller tcp udp lists and which are also running on the protocol you can get so this one you can combine you can just use net start minus minus help and then you will get all the options and what you do you can use it the next one is a uh, udf UFW, which is a Unix firewall, it's a basic firewall. Uh, so you have to give an argument. So it's also a really simple one to manage to close the ports or open the ports. Another command is uh, yeah, there's another one, a really good command that you can use it for uh, to know about your systems. You can use uname. It will give you information about your system, but if you can use also unit minus a, it will give you the complete information about the system. So I'm using now the WS from Windows, but if you have uh, another system installed a different, this you will get a different result here. Another command is a call, which is used for calendar. The another command is if you know oh, how much free space you have on your computer you can just type free and it gives you this space and but it's a byte type you can also use human which has give you more readable how much space you have how much memory you have and everything about your systems storage and the other one is uh, to use uh, df which is so disk free and also you can use h with that it's more readable and gives you a list of the free spaces now on your systems and you can also use du which is disk used also give you you can use also with the h and it gives you oh sorry i'm using the current directory there's another command which you can use to know how big is a directory or something that's in your uh, operating system or on your computers and then you can get the value of that command uh, the value i mean the size of this uh, file or maybe program or anything it's, which is on your system you can use uh, du and also the path to that file so we can we want to know how big is the log file and slash mass slash log we want to know how big is the log directory and it gives you in a byte but we can use also minus h for a more readable format and then you get okay which directory how big is it so now the log directory is almost like half gb my computer but it depends 
how what your logs and which directory you want to know you'll get the specific size of that there is uh, another command to know the process is running on your computer you can just type top and it gives you information about the process that's running now and the space which is used and the free space you have and this kind of stuff and you can just press uh, Q and it will uh, stop the top uh, process now and you can use also to see all the process on your computer you can just type PS and you can also type PS minus A it shows you all of them so we have don't have any more uh, for the type for the top you have another ex uh, example like H top it gives you more uh, readable and also more of it attractive one interface that you can see what's going on in your computer so you can use this one or the other one you can also press Q to exit 